Welcome to UKSG 2024 conference in Glasgow. This is the first time as guide to the conference. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Thank you for registering for the UKSG 2024 conference and exhibition and a huge Scottish welcome from us all. The conference is being held in Glasgow, Scotland's largest city on the banks of the River Clyde. The conference is from the 8th of April until the 10th of April 2024. We're looking forward to welcoming you as a first time delegate and are sure you will find the event informative and enjoyable. Over 850 colleagues usually attend, but we're a friendly bunch who will help to make your conference a memorable experience. We hope you're looking forward to meeting new people and old friends. Free Wi-Fi is available. Just choose the SEC Wi-Fi network. There is no username or password. And please use the hashtag UKSG2024 on social media. The aim of this tutorial is to let you know what to expect at UKSG 2024 and to guide you through all aspects of the conference as well as giving you hints and tips to get the best experience from the conference. Hi, my name is Brian Lewis and I'm Digital Communications Associate at UKSG. At the conference you will find me in a bright blue vest with Here to Help written on the back. You got a problem, you need information, or you want to buy me a whiskey, then I'm your man. Right, you know the dates, now where is it? It's being held in Glasgow, situated on the River Clyde in the country's west central lowlands. The full address is Scottish Exhibition and Conference Centre, Exhibition Way, Glasgow, G38YW. How are you getting there? Located in West Central Scotland, Glasgow's around a five and a half hour journey by train from London or 50 minutes from Edinburgh. The city is also served by Glasgow Airport which operates flights to and from destinations worldwide. For current travel information, go to www.visitscotland.com slash destination hyphen maps slash Glasgow. Travelling by air. Glasgow has three international airports nearby with connections across the UK and the world. Glasgow Airport is the closest airport to the city centre. Catch the express bus service from outside the terminal and arrive in Glasgow in about 15 minutes. Glasgow Presswick Airport is 32 miles 51 kilometers, from Glasgow. It is very accessible with trains and bus services to the city centre. Edinburgh Airport is 39 miles 63 kilometers, from Glasgow. There is a direct bus service from the airport to Glasgow's Buchanan bus station, which takes around an hour. Travelling by road inside the UK. Scotland has an extensive motorway road network. Glasgow is linked to the following places. Edinburgh with the M8, England on the M74, Stirling with the M80 and the west coast of Scotland with the M77. Travelling by public transport. Current information about getting to Glasgow by public transport can be found at www.visitscotland.com slash destination hyphen maps slash Glasgow or by searching for getting to Glasgow by public transport in your browser. 
For getting around Glasgow, please visit www.peoplemakeglasgow.com slash good hyphen to hyphen no slash getting hyphen around. A conference rover pass is available to purchase for the Glasgow trains for delegates once they have collected their conference badge. Details are available at www.scotrail.co.uk slash ticket slash conference hyphen rover. If you're not from the UK, the following information you might find useful. Britons drive on the left hand side of the road. If not directed by signs, markings or lights, you cannot turn left at a red traffic light. If not directed by signs, markings or lights, give way to traffic coming from your right at roundabouts. It is legal to drive in Britain with a valid driving licence for up to 12 months from your arrival. Under British law, all drivers and passengers must wear seat belts. Car seats or appropriate restraints are compulsory for children. It is prohibited to drive whilst using a handheld mobile phone or similar device. Motorcyclists and passengers must wear a helmet. For details of UK road signs and rules of the road, pick up a copy of the Highway Code, which is available in bookshops and AA and RAC outlets or online. Visit www.gov.uk slash transport slash driving hyphen and hyphen road hyphen transport for full details of legal requirements for drivers. Discount vouchers. Conference rover tickets are available for delegates that let you travel by rail for five days for just five pounds from these stations. You can also get up to 50% discount on all travel outside the conference zone too. For more details, go to www.scotrail.co.uk slash tickets slash conference hyphen rover. There are a lot of discount offers, 26 in total, available from the Glasgow Convention Bureau. There are discounts on food, drink, tours and a host of leisure activities. Details are available on the conference website. Definitely worth a visit. Some other information you may find useful. The average temperature in Glasgow in April is about 5 degrees centigrade, 41 degrees Fahrenheit. The average amount of rain in April is 66 millimetres, 2.6 inches and this makes it the driest month of the year. It rains on average a total of 12 days. The average maximum daytime temperature is around 13 degrees centigrade, 55 Fahrenheit. The sun will occasionally show itself with an average of 143 hours of sunshine during the whole month. As Glasgow is a popular visitors and holiday makers destination, it is advisable to book your stay as early as possible. Accommodation options are available on the UKSG conference website. What do you need to pack? Clothing layers. It's all about packing lots of layers of clothes. The Scottish weather is very unpredictable. We could be sitting in sunshine and a couple of hours later there may be rain and it could be cold. Welcome to Scotland. Comfortable clothes are suggested and we particularly recommend comfortable shoes. But don't forget your glad rags for the conference garner event. Other information. Data requirements. Any special data requirements should have been notified on the registration form. If you did not book yourself on the conference, it would be worthwhile checking in advance to ensure that your requirements have been logged. Code of conduct. As you might expect, there is a code of conduct that will require delegates to abide by. Details can be found on the UKSG website. Now, something about the conference app. 
The app is the essential guide for the conference and can be easily downloaded from the Apple Store or Google Play. There is also a web interface. There will be an Apple Users Guide available on the UKHG conference website. The app includes such features as full details of sessions, speakers, exhibitors and delegates. Please note there will not be a printed program for the conference this year. All details will be in the app and the PDF will be available on the conference website. There are maps to help you round the conference and exhibition. Easy to network with other delegates. You can ask speakers questions and there's local and practical information to assist you. And you'll be have the ability to receive timely and helpful announcements. And don't forget this competition with a chance to win a hundred pound Amazon voucher. The first time is reception. On the Sunday evening, there is a first time is reception where you can meet UKSG staff, committee members and other first timers with free drinks and nibbles. Come along and relax in the company of delegates with common interests, but please don't forget to register for attendance on the conference website. Who attends a UKSG conference? The types of people attending the UKSG conference are many and varied, but in the main consist of librarians, publishers, tech and service providers, scholars, funders, database providers. Details of the attendees, their affiliations and of the exhibitors and speakers can also be found in the app. Now a little bit about the meeting format. There are plenary sessions. These are a number of plenary sessions over the three days where you can ask questions live via the app or if you use X, formerly known as Twitter, using the hashtag UKSG2024. Breakout sessions. You can choose from four different breakout sessions. In each breakout session, there is a choice of about eight talks and each session is repeated twice over the three days, giving you a chance to pick your favorite subjects. Lightning sessions. The lightning sessions are a fast introduction to new topics, research or products. Workshop sessions. Workshops are new features this year and will provide a more extensive interactive discussion on various subjects. It is highly recommended that you maximise your workshop experience by bringing a device, such as a phone or tablet, capable of connecting to Wi-Fi. This will enable you to actively engage and fully participate in the session. Food and fun. Meals and refreshments. Lunches are being served in the exhibition area with several water stations dotted around the location. Spare lunches are being donated to the Fair Share Charity. Social events. Sunday evening is reserved for the first time as reception, where you can meet the UKSG staff, the trustees, committee members and other first timers. Monday night is the world famous UKSG quiz night. And Tuesday is the gala reception and disco at the Science Museum, just a short walk over the river from the conference center. Don't forget to book your place for these events on the conference website, Seats are Limited. Thank you for your time. I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions, please contact me at digital at ukhg.org, on Skype is brian.g.lewis or on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Brian Jeff Lewis. Thank you very much and enjoy the conference.